guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am so excited to share my April plans with you guys. I think I have some really cool, fun stuff to show you. Before we jump into all of that though, I wanna to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Dana Marie Design Company. She sent me a few of her designs and I just wanna share some of them with you. But honestly, she has a huge, huge catalog online. Um, she says basically she doesn't follow a lot of trends. She's just inspired by things that she likes. Um, and her patterns are usually like a springboard for teaching a particular technique. So you're looking to like hone in on some skills. Uh, her patterns could be a great way to do that. She does have a few like complimentary videos that show you particular steps that could be a little bit tricky. So some people might like that as well. But I just think her patterns are just so fun. Um, like look at this one. This one is called Retro. And it has that super cute little pocket that you can either do in a contrast fabric or a matching fabric and just have like, you know, a little something extra on your typical dress or sweater. Um, you can do a lot of her fat, a lot of her patterns in knit or woven, which is nice. Um, well, here's one that's mostly, well, this says combination of woven and knit. So again, this is her everyday hoodie. She said it's her most popular pattern. Many, many, many people have sewn this, so you could probably find a lot of information about it online and some reviews. But this version here has a woven bodice and like uh, knit sleeves, I'm guessing. I haven't made this one, but I'm guessing. So if you want somebody to really walk you through the steps on how to make a hoodie, if you've never made a jacket before or a button placket or attached a hood, um, that could be a great place to start. This is the one that I showed you guys already, the Twist of Fate uh, jacket pattern. I just absolutely love that back detail. It gives a lot, just a lot of personality to your kind of, um, to your blazer. And again, this is one of those things, this is just um, like a, attachment on the outside you could add that detail to any back pattern that you have um so she has embellishment ideas ways to make it your own so a lot of fun stuff going on in this pattern and then i'll talk about this one a little bit more this is part of my plans for april this is the a little something extra pattern look how cute that little strap detail is it's so simple, but very kind of elegant and a little bit sexy, I think. So I'll show you the fabric that I have picked out for that. Um, she also sells Bimberg Rayon, Peter Shem ribbon, uh, fold over elastic and a ton of colors and stretchable thread that you can use on like sportswear and, you know, garments that you really need to have a lot of movement in. Um, so she's got some notions too that can help you execute all of these patterns excellently. Um, she set up a coupon code for all of you guys. It's insider20 and that will get you 20% off all across all of her websites. Um, so that includes the patterns and all of the Notion stuff as well. So I'll have links in the description box where you can access the different sites. Um, and I'll reiterate the coupon code down there so you guys have that as well. But I encourage you to head on over to her website and check out some of these patterns and grab a couple of them. I think that they will be super helpful and that you guys will you know, learn a little bit from them as well. She does say, and I, I do want to make this clear, that her patterns aren't necessarily for beginners. Um, you kind of have to know sewing basics, like how to operate a machine, how to stitch a seam, those kinds of things. But once you have that under your belt, like a sewing one on 101 class, um, you should be off to the races. These patterns are just not for someone who's literally never turned on a sewing machine before. Not for the absolute beginner. Um, but uh, what do they call them? Aggressive beginner? Uh, I can't remember what the word is. Um, but anyways, uh, you guys will, will really enjoy them. Um, so yeah, Dana Marie Design Co. 
All right, jumping in to uh, the makes. All right, let's start with the Dana Marie pattern. A little something extra. Doo -doo -doo. Um, once again, here's the pattern. Let me pull this out so it's not like super shiny. Um, there we go. So cute. I actually love the top and the dress. There's also a tunic length. So there's three different lengths um, where you can make this, but you know me, I love a dress. And after doing my little experiment with vertical fisheye darts, I think what I'm going to do is probably make this up just as is, see how it is, and then maybe add you know, a couple of them if I feel like I need them, but it does look like there's a decent amount of shaping in here. So, you know, I'll do my typical, you know, finished garment measurements and kind of see where I land and maybe add them, maybe not, maybe do like a little, um, what's it called? Full seat adjustment within the back piece. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I, I didn't hate the shift dress that I made in the jacquard, you know, the one that was like blue and white and then reversed. Um, and a lot of you said that it was still very flattering. So maybe my mind's eye, or like when I see myself in those patterns, I'm just being extra critical, which is silly. I don't want to be that way. Um, so I'm going to give this little shift dress um, a try. And the fabric Believe it or not, you guys, this is going to be the first time I'm using the fabric that I bought in New York last year. It's been 10 months, I think. So it's been almost a whole year since I bought this stuff and I'm just now getting around to using it. I know it's terrible. Um, but here it is. Let me figure out a way to show it to you properly. So it's this like um, really kind of gauzy linen and then it has this border on the bottom. The beauty of it and why it's gonna work really well for a dress like this is because the border is only on one side. So it's just on one side and the, uh, it, the whole rest of this is solid. Um, if it were on both sides, you would really need a pattern that was broken up and had a waist seam. But because this is not on both ends, um, you can do like a shift type dress. And I just think the lightweight floaty quality of this is going to produce like a really beautiful little flowy dress for spring. So, but I also wanted it to be substantial-ish enough um, to handle this guy here. This is pretty much on the bias and I'm sure she has you reinforce it and maybe there's a uh, facing or something there um, to help with that. But I just wanted to make extra sure that that didn't start to droop down, you know? So super excited about this and this. I will keep you posted on both of those. Um, okay, uh, so my style this month is pants of some kind. I think that they're the Chi Town Chi Town chinos and some other slim fitting pant, which if you saw my makes video, you know that I'm open to pants now, but not all pants. Um so I got Simplicity 8389 super cute pants pattern. I'm going to be making this one, although this version here would be great out of the Style Maker Fabrics Rayon Twill, the same uh, or Tencel Twill, the same fabric that I used for my um, coral pants. Um, so if you were thinking about making coral pants but didn't love that Vogue pattern for whatever reason, I think that this would be a really, really cute option and that rayon Tencel Twill would look great in this silhouette. Super great. But I'm going to be making this one and I'm not 100% sold on this fabric. I can't even remember why I got it, like what I got it for. Um, but it's like a bubblegum pink linen. So I do think that that pattern is suited well for linen. Um, I just don't know about bubblegum pink pants. Like I would wear it with the chambray tops that I have. I'd wear it with like white. I don't know. What else do you wear bubblegum pink with? I just want to make sure I have lots of options on how to wear it. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like this type of fabric is spot on for that kind of pant. So that's what's making me, I don't have anything else planned for this. I'm not going to make a dress out of this. 
Um, so pants it is. Simplicity 8389. This version here, which I guess is A. <laughs> I don't know, maybe A. I do want to try and find um, cute cording too, something a little bit different than just a tie or um, like ribbon. I don't want to do ribbon. I do want to find cording that feels more ready to wear for me. And these have side seam pockets. I'm praying that they are not the little like teardrop ones, you know? I don't want them flopping around. I want them sewn into the waistband. So if they aren't that, then I will be hacking them to make them you know, so they don't flop around a whole bunch. And I'm not gonna do the pockets out of this. They'll be out of a lining fabric, so. So stay tuned on this. I'll be sharing um, it with you whenever I finish. You can also follow me on Instagram. I post like a lot of stuff there as I'm making things. Um, so if you like like the behind the scenes stuff, check that out. Okay, also, okay, so when I made my um, April Fool's tank top, I used the Willow tank as the pattern and you guys I just literally forgot how great this pattern is besides the fact that that top is a hot mess in terms of fabrication the shape of it is super super cute and I have to be honest I wasn't very careful about cutting it out or anything I was just like zoop with my rotary cutter so I want to make another one I got this fabric in New York two years ago specifically for the willow tank it was a little bit pricey i want to say like 18 dollars a yard from mood um but i just loved yellow and navy together and these like highlighter neon colors are still so in so um it's actually like a swiss dot and it's embroidered so it's a cool fabric i really wanted to have it and i thought a little tank top would be perfect so since i have the willow out from making it for the April Fool's Day top, I thought, okay, let's go ahead and make this a reality. It's kind of sad that I haven't yet, but here we are, seizing the day. <laughs> We're gonna do it this month. Um, Willow Tank, this fun fabric from Boot, perfect. Um, what else? I think, oh, my refashion. So, uh, if you saw my I don't remember what I called it. The the video where I took you guys to Goodwill with me and showed you how I do my shopping there. Um, you know that I found this Eileen Fisher denim. I don't know if it's a tunic or a dress, but this little number here. Um, it's got little, little side seam pockets. Um, a waistish. I mean, it's not, it's still very boxy. You know, it's not, um, like look at my face hi um so i don't know anyways and it's got these dolman sleeves so that's kind of cool that are they have a seam up top well as all dolman sleeves do i don't know why i said that um actually it's got this up top so it's like a little panel anyways so i want to do something with this i need to try it on and see how big it is it's a size unknown that part got ripped off um but i just want to know like should i take it in should i just put elastic in the waist and call it a day and have it be an oversized top fish number um but i really 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 want to incorporate this trim that i found um it looks like this and when you put them together, it will look something like, there we go, it's <laughs> sort of, not a terrible representation, but it's gonna look something like that, you know, where the little white part hangs off the bottom. I just think they look really cute together. So, and I got this for the trim, like I don't, this dress, I don't even know will fit me, but I will um, maintain like the, hem of it and just like unpick that and then take this back to Goodwill. So it will go back into the, into the world so someone else can buy it. I think it's just too small for me. Um, anyways, so, but I did like the trim a lot. So I want to incorporate that into my refashion. So I'll be combining these two things for my refashion for this month. And then finally, I know I've already said like a lot of things, one, two, three, four things, but 
I'm also starting my um, sew along with McCall Pattern Company. So this is a sew along um, geared specifically toward very, very, very beginner sewists. Um, obviously, if you're more experienced, you can join along and maybe learn a couple of little bonus tips here and there or just have fun, you know, and just do it for fun. But um, that pattern is M7405. Um, it starts this Friday. I am going to be talking about the pattern and the fabric this Friday. So don't worry if you don't have this yet. Um, you still have time, but this is our pattern. So I'll be starting this. It actually runs for eight weeks. So we won't be showing the final garment until like almost the end of May. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, this guy will be starting too. This is the next video that you guys will see of me, I think. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Um, super excited about it. I think it's a really great silhouette. I think it looks good on a lot of people, no matter what body shape you are. And um, it is easy enough, but also stylish. You know, that was important to me to pick something that had both of those qualities. So, um, so I have to include that in my plans since that's what I'll be working on. Um, anyways, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> I have a lot going on, but I think it's really cute and different. I just love dressing for the warmer weather. Like I'm just not a winter dresser. I don't love layering. I don't, you know, feel super comfortable, <laughs> you know? Um, so when spring comes and the weather warms up, although it did snow this week, it like snowed for, I don't know, an hour at most and then literally by the end of the day I was sitting outside in a tank top and shorts so that was fun um, but I did enjoy the snow while it lasted and it was very very beautiful and this is the first snow I've seen since I've lived here in Charlotte so all of that was so exciting anyways I'm digressing the point is is that it's spring now and that it's warmer and that I like dressing for warmer weather which is why I'm so excited about all these clothes that's all um anyways that is going to do it for me today again huge thank you to our sponsor Dana Marie Design Company check the description box for all the information you need about the coupon code and where to find all of her stuff Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.